Work Game Geek TV, Spiel 2014. I'm sitting down with Ivan Popov of Hobby World. How are you? Great. Very. <coughs> my voice is still too low after so many speaking. But <laughs> oh, well. Okay then. How are you? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> fine. <laughs> I'm. I'm very glad that you told me the name of this game in English because apparently my attempt to say it in Russian was pretty horrible. But and it is Viceroy yes. in English. Okay. Viceroy. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Voice roar. <laughs> so, what to expect when we open up the box? How do we play? Okay, uh, in this box we have a bunch of uh, tokens and uh, cards. That's it. The most important uh, part. Okay, basically the game set is you and me. We are vice roars. Uh, each of us uh, is uh, ruling the small province. And what we should do in a game, we are building the pyramid of power consisting from our servants. And growing this pyramid, we are getting more influence points, which are actually victory points. So basically how it works. Uh, let's, uh, the main resource in this game is those gems. Okay. You see there are different colors. And uh, we use them to buy our new servants and to build our pyramid of power. Actually, let's say at the very beginning I have a certain amount of gems and uh, two cards. Just show how it works. And when I put uh, my first card like this, there is uh, important things, those uh, colored uh, circles. So if I want to play next card, it's really important to make it fit Aha. To so red to red, red yellow to, to red. red. Yes, and when I go on, take the next card, and this, there is a good idea to put it this way because in this way I'm going solid red, and I'm getting bonus uh, Got it. gem, my important resource, and some uh, bonus point points to the end of the game. Then, <clears throat> let's say I'm going on uh, building oh. like. Let's say this way, which is not fit, but it's still okay. Because, for still example, legal. I need this card. Uh, like this. And I'm guessing you would not get yeah. any bonus for that one. But at the end of the game, to still have it solid, if I still have some uh, gems, I can do like this and it will be also solid. And finally, this is how my pyramid is growing. But uh, what it gives me? Uh, <clears throat> Each level, uh, here we see the, I think it will be easier to show like this. These are most important signs in the game. Uh, this one means uh, how much I should pay to use this card. I mean, the, to use this card, I should pay one red gem, red uh, token. And these are the bonus I'm getting when I use this card. Actually, we'll probably have it a little easier time if we just lay it down there. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, for, for instance, if I'm putting the card on the first row, I should pay this price. If I am uh, putting the card already in a second, I should pay both. But I'm getting only one reward. Let's say uh, if I play this card, I should play, pay the green and, and the yellow. yellow. And I'm getting the science token, which give me some bonuses during the game, and of course uh, some bonuses at the end of the game. Now, uh, when I'm building the third row, I should pay already all three. three. And in this case, getting the magic uh, token. So this is a. Uh, main idea. So you're building pyramid, trying to get as much solid uh, circles as possible and trying to figure out different combinations of uh, tokens which gives you bonuses. Let's say, for example, uh, let me check. Yeah, you see on this card, it has a reward, a magic scroll, plus two victory points, uh -huh. which means if I play it, and each uh, magic scroll will give me plus two at the end of the game. So let's say if I have uh, like this in some part of uh, gameplay, I will have four victory points at the Got end. It. So that means this one of uh, game strategies to collect magic. And there are different ones, as you can imagine. So <clears throat> now I can uh, show the how the game begins. Okay. Hmm. So 
slide that down a little bit. Yep. Um, at the very beginning, each player has two cards. Me too. And uh, these are creatures' cards. Also, we have uh, like laws. You have three, and I have three. Basically, law works the same as a card. It also has those uh, colored uh, half circles, but you don't need to pay anything to use it. Okay. You just put it uh, by trying to figure out the uh, round one solid. And uh, this is written how it works. Each lore just works and gives you some bonuses, some gems, or some scrolls, different ones. And uh, at the beginning, I have this uh, setting of cards. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we always have four cards available here. Now, and we have a certain amount of uh, those uh, gems each, eight ones. Yeah. At the very beginning of the game, uh, each of us can play one card for free. Let me, I can show on my cell phone. Well, let's so, just do, we'll do a very yeah, quick very quick of what a turn so would look I'm like. I'm playing one card and simultaneously it gives me a bonus. Four uh, gems. Gems of any color. My, my choice. I'm take, just taking them. Okay. Okay. Then uh, we start playing. The, actually, each round has uh, two stages. The first one is uh, getting the cards, new ones. How we can get do it? By uh, doing auction. Each of us taking secretly. Okay. Oh well, yeah. I'd have, you'd have, have of, a shield. One, just one of the gem. Okay. Uh, depend, depending on which card it lines you up need, with. Okay. You can take gem, just one. Or instead of doing this, you can just use empty hand. In this case, you'll just get three gems for free. Okay. But let's say we are secretly doing this. What does it mean? I'm getting this card to my hand, and you are getting the yellow card. This. And what happens if we both showed the same? Disaster. Oh. In this case, uh, we're just losing both gems and we should vote again. Uh -oh. And again and again, but when we'll be out of gems, we'll just do pass and getting gems free. So, I mean, this we, we get new cards, then we start building pyramid, pyramid. as I just showed. Yep. But when we're done and got all the bonuses, everything, those cards, which were not used this turn, they go up there, and uh, four new cards are opening. And in this case, of course, it's much more sense to vote uh, for the cards which you can take, choose, use this or this. And let's say if we both voted with red, like I, said, I want this card. If you said, okay, fine, I can get this, one. we are just getting them. All right. But in the case, if we are both want just this one, we throw, throw away and throw it again. Why, let's say, I should choose this card or this, uh, depending on what pyramid I'm building. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we are looking on uh, the colors to make these solid uh, circles. And of course, we are looking on those abilities because, uh, you know, we need to make one or two strategies to build more victory points at the end. And uh, there is a the conflict part in the game is uh, our fighting for, because I'm, of course, I'm looking probably which one you need, aha, uh -huh. you probably need this one. So that means that uh, I'm better not to lose my gem, I'm trying to get, get another. Basically, basically that's it. And what triggers the end of the game? Uh, the game ends when this deck goes to zero. Okay. Then we just, everybody's looking on our pyramid and start calculating Score. how many scores we, we, we get. How it's, long do you think a full game would take? I think uh, during the first play, like half an hour, which is quite fast. Yeah. <laughs> that is quite fast. Well, Ivan, thank you for uh, coming over from your booth and uh, showing us. Again, this title is in Russian, but it is Viceroy. Viceroy. <laughs> Try it.
We'll say it in Russian before we let you go. Oh, uh, Namestnik.